Hello everyone and welcome to episode 10 of 9 in 9 with West Brom. Today we take on Fulham in a clash at the top of the championship table. It's a huge game this one for us. We'll take a look at some results we've had since we were last together and we'll take a look at the league table as well. Don't forget if you enjoy today's video please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and would like to do so please click that subscribe button down in the corner. And don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel. And also don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Let's dive into those results we've had since we were last together. Where to be frank, it's not gone well. It's been a bad month for us. So Middlesbrough beat us by two goals to one. Jordan Hugill was sent off just before half time. It kind of hamstrung us for the rest of the game. Lise Bousset and Ichu Impenza with the goals for Middlesbrough. Callum Grant pulled a goal back later. We suffered defeat at the hands of Swansea as well. Oliver Netcham with the opening goal. Callum Grant equalised, but then Adrian scored a winning goal in added time. That was gutting to lose that one so late. We did bounce back with a win in the fifth round of the FA Cup against Blackpool. Two goals for Grady Diangana, one for Robert Snodgrass, Tyrese John Jules with the reply for Blackpool. But then we lost to Hull in a big game at the top of the championship. Two goals for Balligan, Greg Doherty with an absolute beauty to win the game. Dar O'Shea and Keenan Bryan with the goals for us. But we did bounce back against Huddersfield. Danny Ward put them in front. Carlham Grant with two goals, including a 90-second minute winner. And it was a big relief because, obviously, if we'd have drawn that game, that was only one point from four championship games. And it's the wrong time of the season to be doing that. Before we look at the league table, let's look at this week's fixtures. We are playing in the midweek. Bournemouth take on Reading tonight as we take on Fulham. It's a massive night at the top of the championship. Let's take a look at the league table. So our reward for beating Blackpool is to take on Manchester United in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. We've done very, very well to get this far in the competition, but Manchester United did knock us out of the Carabao Cup at the quarterfinal stage. I expect them probably to do the same in the FA. Anyway, never mind. We'll see what we can do with that one. In the Championship, we have got some work to do. We are five points behind Fulham as it stands. We are four points behind Bournemouth as it stands. It's been a bad run of results for us. As I say, the Huddersfield win was a very, very important one. So if we win tonight, we go one point behind Bournemouth we go two behind Fulham, depending on what happens with Bournemouth, of course. Hull have 65 in fourth place. They've almost secured themselves a playoff spot. Sheffield United on 61 have still got some work to do. QPR on 58 have still got some work to do. The pack are circling below them. Swansea have 56. Barnsley have 55. Luton have 54. Blackburn 53 with Middlesbrough. And Stoke on 52. We'll still have ambitions of making the playoff places, I think. That's about it. Who's going to make it? Down at the bottom, where Derby are on 22 points. Peterborough have 23. Coventry have 33. Birmingham 34. Cardiff 37. Bristol City, Reading and Nottingham Forest on 39. 41 for Huddersfield. 42 for Preston. 43 for Millwall. 46 for Blackpool. So, it's probably going to be from Nottingham Forest down. I'm staying at this point. The bottom two, I think you can probably forget about them, sadly. But Coventry and Upwards are in a massive fight to avoid being the third side relegated from the championship this year. But it's a massive game at the top of the championship tonight. Can we beat Fulham? We didn't do it in London. Can we do it in our own backyard? Let's find out the teams. So here are the two starting lineups, starting with ours. So Johnson starts in goal. Kipre, Bartley, Brian, Phillips, Townsend, Moa. Riamito, Diangana, Braff with Carlham Grant leading the line. Jordan Hugel is back from suspension and is on the bench. But Carlham Grant, obviously, with his two goals against Huddersfield, deserved to start the game down the centre. With Fulham, they start with Gazaniga in goal. Tete, Arabayo, Chalabar, Congolo, Chalabar. Two Chalabar brothers in that team. Onoma, Wilson, Quian, Carvalho with Mitrovic up front. So it's another huge game at the top of the championship. Can we pick up at least a point from tonight's game? That is the key at the moment. We can't afford to lose this one. We need at least a draw. A win would be fantastic. It will get us back in the race for the top two. Can we do it? If we have anything like we did at Craven Cottage and going 3-0 down, 
it's going to be a very long night. Still no Darnell Furlong. Should be back in about a week or so. We are missing a few big players at the moment. Matt Clark has been missing for quite a while. The defence, they're standing firm, to be fair to them. But them standing off us a little bit and allowing us to play, which is unusual. I thought Fulham would be in our faces a little bit, but not when we've got the ball in the defensive area, at least. Phillips into key break. Mow it. Pass the ball around. Looking over the top for Carlin Grant. He's timed his run pretty well. Can he get beyond the goalkeeper? He can. He fires it in the back of the net. That is the start we needed. 28th goal of the season for Carlin Grant. And a very big one this afternoon. With patient. And then Matt Phillips with the ball in behind. He outran the defenders. Turn past the goalkeeper. 1-0. And we'll take that. For starters, but it's a corner to Fulham. Wilson with it. Don't get it away. Anybody going to get it away? It's headed over the bar by Quan. Corner to West Brom. Matt Phillips going to take it. Already provided one goal. Can he provide a second? No, nope. headed away by Golo, but picked up by Grady D and Garner. Plays it in. Chalabar gives it back to us. Thank you very much. Brian. Oh, it needed to be a bit more comfortable than that. Gazaniga sends it down the field. Mitrovic flicks it on. Fulham looks to try and break out. Wilson. Hit him. Somebody try and tackle him for Christ's sake. Mitrovic trying to get in. Dean Garner picks up the loose ball. Brian. Back into Bartley. Riamito. Looking wide for Townsend. Mitrovic just keep the ball. Braff. Looking wide for Grady Dean Garner. What a ball that is. Can he get a shot away from the angle? He can. Gazaniga tips it over the bar. Throwing down in the corner. Matt Phillips with it. Throws it into Dean Garner. On to Moat. Moat plays it across into Brian. Giving in the penalty area. Miamito, Brian with the shot. Townsend will pick up the loose ball. Flicks it into Braff. Wilson gets it away, though. Throw in again. Matt Phillips taking it once more. Dean Garner. Phillips into Moa. Runs it across to Miamito. Turns it round the corner for Brian. Townsend. Townsend with the shot. It's blocked by the Fulham defender. Tete takes that right in the face. Johnson with a goal kick. Sending it out wide. Is that a wise decision? N'Golo is going to field that pretty quickly. On a mark. And get into the game. Come on, we'll be doing well up until this point. We should be more than a goal in front. Plays it into Quan. Looking over the top for Carvalho. Don't bring him down, for goodness sake. That's it. Dean Garner. But we are back inside our own penalty area. Very deep inside our own penalty area. Oh my goodness me. We're getting it straight back to them. Probably wasn't the greatest idea. Tete. Plays it into Chalabar. On towards Arabayo. Chalabar again. Onoma. Pinch it. Somebody try and make a tackle. Tete. Stop the cross, Connor. Hasn't stopped the cross. Mitrovic with the header. Johnson with the save. You've got to stop the cross. Yamito again. Brian picking it up. Playing it inside to Braff. Looking for Dean Garner. Angle is tight. Braff there, though. Oh, he's blocked by the defender. Damn it. Mitrovic going to pick it up, but Bartley wins the header. That's a towering header from Carl Bartley. Need more of that, please. Raff down the left. Can he find anybody in the centre? Rolls it back into Connor Townsend. And it is behind for a throw. Didn't roll out for a corner, would it? Corner. Come on, second goal before half time, please. Dean Garner with the corner. Anybody going to rise? No, Chalabar is there first. Why do we not attack the ball? In Tottenham. Phillips. Dean Garner into Braff. Braff with a shot saved by Gazaniga. Speaking of Tottenham, he's offside anyway. Good save from Paolo Gazaniga. Golo with the throw. Puts it into Kwan. Onomar into Carvalho. Gets it across. Mitrovic gets the header on goal, but Johnson with the save. He's lurking with intent, is Alexander Mitrovic. I don't like it. Ball down the field, looking for Braff. Can he get away from the defender? Plays it back into Townsend. Early ball for Carlin Grant. Carbon copy of the first goal, but he's put it wide. Oh! How has he missed it? Oh, my days. If that comes back to bite us in the arse, I will not be happy. Corner ball right on half time. Wilson with it. Get it away. It, oh, off the line, Connor Townsend. Goodness me. Grant coming down the field. That's half time. Jesus, whip. We nearly shot ourselves in the foot. But Carlham Grant should have made it too. 
We should be out of sight. We go again. I'm pleased. The scoreboard reflects what we're doing. We need another goal, though. I will feel more comfortable at 2-0. It gives Fulham a hell of a lot of work to do. Form of lead after half-time. They kicked off at 7.45, so they've only got half an hour to go. But this is a big scoreline at the moment, if we can hold on to it. Quan. Go towards him. Onama. Carvalho. Looking for Harry Wilson. He's in behind. But he's got the tight angle. Mitrovic blocked. Get rid of it. Brian whacks it away. That'll do. Carlum Grant will chase after that. Take a foul if you can, Carlum. Or even better, keep the ball. Riamito. Back into Brian. Looking for Braff. Go on, son. Take him on. Riamito. Plays it across into Moa. Calm down for a second. Dean Garner. Plays it into Phillips. Go early. Looking for Dean Garner again. And he's put it wide. He was offside, I think. No, he wasn't. Oh, God. We are wasting so many chances. Wasteful. Absolutely wasteful. Someone put the ball in the back of the net. Bobby Reed's on. I refuse to say Dick or Dover. Too hard to say. We can get Jordan Hugel on shortly. Braff has got the ball. Plays it into Townsend. Riamito. Back into Bartley. Look early. Fulham have got a very high line. That's, that's extremely high. Keep right. Go now. Oh, we made the run. Keeper is still going. Come on, Cedric. Come on, son. Will he find a cross? No, he needs to play it back to Matt Phillips. A terrible angle as well. Plays it into Dean Garner. Moa, shoot, Alex. Does. Oh, curls it just wide. It's coming. Second goal is coming. We're going to need it, I think. Tom Kearney's on. We have a corner. Playing at a higher tempo. Fulham are starting to push. Can we find a second? Brian over the bar. Mitrovic has gone off. Munez has come on. Oh, they've taken Mitrovic off. That's interesting. Reading of equalised against Bournemouth. So far, it's a perfect night. Can we keep it going? Dean Garner looking for Grant down the centre. Good ball in behind. Goalkeeper's come out again. He's gone round him and he's missed it. Trevor Chalabar with a good block. Didn't have time to get it away, to be fair to him. Let's have a look at the change. 20 to play. Raff's going to be the man to come off. Robert Snodgrass is going to come on. And we're going to bring Jordan Hugill on as well for Carlum Grum. Save one more substitution for the final 10 minutes if we need it. Need a second goal. I've been saying it since half time. Probably before half time. Reed. Takes it into Munez. Munez with a shot from distance. See, just the pop shot like that. And Fulham could be back level. It is a corner. Wilson with it. Get it away. Get it clear. Adebayo heads over the bar. I'm on the edge of my seat. I hope you are. And Golo with the throw. Into Reed. Kearney. Fulham are starting to push. Go to him. Reed over the bar. Do that all day. Right, into the final 10 minutes. Let's make a change in the engine room. Alex Moa run himself into the ground as he invariably does. Jake Livermore's going to come on. We try to see this out now. Come on. Last 10. Put it in. Headed forward. Dean Garner looking for Snodgrass. Play him in. Oh, Hugo's offside. He must be, surely. Saved by Gazaniga. They're not supposed to put the flag up until play is complete. So you never know these days. Here's a corner. Can we do anything with it? We haven't done anything with the majority of them so far. Apart from Keenan Bryan and having over the bar. Snodgrass with it. Decent delivery. Ball to the back post. Connor Townsend over the bar. Waste a bit of time. Right. Let's put that on. Waste a bit of time. We have time to waste. It's our time. Johnson with the goal kick. Take your time. Take it up the line looking for Phillips. It's straight to a fallen player. Chico Fado Reed is in behind. Keeper should get there first and does. As soon as Carl Bartley stopped there, I was like, come on, Johnson. You've got to come for that. Sends it down the field. Goalkeeper to goalkeeper, maybe? No. Kenny picks it up. Danger man for Fulham. Rolls it in looking for Reed. See him down the side. Plays it back to Carvalho. Chalavar. He's up right against him. Kearney. There's lots of Fulham players in the box. Can they get an angle? Kenny Tete with the shot. He's rolled in the bottom corner. Balls. Kenny Tete with the equaliser in the 89th minute. Bugger. That's annoying. 
That's very annoying. Because he's unmarked. Ah! 1-1. One, one. Oh, into the last few seconds. I can't believe we haven't won this. I cannot believe it. Genuinely. Riamito looking in. No. And that is full time. West Brom 1, Fulham 1. They're saying they might well have won the game. How? Look at the XG. 2.2. We should have absolutely buried them. Oh. We just could not find the second goal. Just couldn't find it. Anyway, let's see what that's done to the table. And it's as you were, really, because Bournemouth have drawn with Reading, which is a bit of a surprise given Reading's position in the table. So thank you, Reading. But we are still a way off them now. And there's not a lot of games left to play. Four points behind Bournemouth, five points behind Fulham. Let's see what we're going to drop in next time. So we'll make the short dart to the game with Stoke City. So we'll play Manchester United, we'll play Bristol City, and we will play Birmingham City. And as I say, we'll come back for that home game with Stoke. Saturday night on the telly. Love to see it. But the games are starting to run out for us now. But we do have a relatively good run after the game with Stoke. And I suppose that is the only crumb of comfort I can take from an 89th minute equaliser. But hey, we didn't lose. And that's what I really wanted to avoid earlier in the season. You can't afford to lose to the teams in and around you. So yeah, we'll come back next time for that game with Stoke City. We'll see how we got on against Manchester United in the quarterfinals. Can we make the semis of the FA Cup? Well, I suppose anything is possible, right? Don't forget, if you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel but like to do so, please click the subscribe button down in the corner. Don't forget, if you've got any comments to make on today's video, please leave them below. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.